We are just a four days away from Halloween and this morning we're keeping a Halloween safety at the top of our minds before you head out on Tuesday. Yeah, 12 News this morning reporter Max Dutton joins us live from one of the busiest areas for trick or treating. Of course, that is Wichita's College Hill neighborhood. Good morning, Max. Hey, good morning, Felicia. We're at house number two in the College Hill area this morning. Let's take a look at their setup they have right here. This is a 12 foot or more tall skeleton, and you can see he's kind of uploading the Wi-Fi right there, getting electrocuted. Now for kids, Halloween is all about racking up as much candy as possible and showing off their costumes, but for parents, safety is a top priority on Tuesday. Here's why. According to AAA, children are more than twice as likely to be hit by a car and killed on Halloween than any other day of the year. Halloween is consistently one of the top three days of the year for pedestrian injuries and fatalities. WPD says to drive slower than you normally would while trick-or-treaters are out and about and leave your headlights on when it gets dark, even if you're in a residential area with Halloween lights. For those of you accompanying your kiddos, leave the phone in your pocket and avoid any distractions while walking. Check your child's candy before they eat it, making sure the package hasn't been opened. Wichita Police Officer Chris Gupalon explains why bright reflective clothing is also important. So costumes, um, if you are trick-or-treating at night, just make sure that it's something reflective. Um, glow sticks are a great thing. You can hang them around your kids. Even using bicycle lights, clip that onto your costume on the front, on the back end. That way it's just another, another visual aid for your parent or even the vehicles that are driving on the street that they're able to see you. All right, I just wanted to put into perspective how tall the skeleton is. I'm six foot with shoes on. This thing is only up to my hand, so this is probably 12 or 15 feet. But for those of you coming out to College Hill on Halloween, there will be multiple road closures to watch out for. There will also be two lost child tents located at First and Bluff and Third and Broadview. Guys.